How, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm great, too. Thank you for talking to me. Of course, no problem. So we, you've just released a new version of AOK with mm -hmm. 24K Golden. So uh, how did you come up with the idea of uh, releasing this new version? And how was it to work with him? Um, it was great to work with him just because he's a nice guy. You know, I think that he's talented and he's uh, 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 he's just really personable. You know what I'm saying? And when you have someone like that, that you can really get along with, you can make good music together. I'm not the biggest person on remixes, but if you have someone who's talented that you like, that um, is also really cool to be around, then you just show people what you made together, you know? Mm hmm and also the music video the music video really matches the music's vibe it's really fun really colorful um how is it to to shoot it and yeah can you tell us about it the the shooting yeah it was just fun it was just a good time I, it, you know in a, all of my music videos for my project i like to have a really good storyline and like push boundaries and stuff like that but it's also fun to just have fun and be like, you know, a little cheeky in a music video and just have a good time. Mm -hmm. And also, I want to ask you about your rise to fame, because looking from outside, it seems like it was very fast. But I know you must have worked really, really hard to get to where you are today. Mm -hmm. But looking from outside, it seems like, who is this guy? And then here you are, like millions of views of streams, and there you are today. Um, so how does it feel for you to, to look and to see millions of views of streams? The other day you performed at Jimmy Kimmel, you're doing shows. How is it for you to look back, look back to see where you started and where you are now? Well, you know, when I started, I thought like let's just keep making songs and then once the songs kept moving it's like let's keep marketing it and see what we can get it up to um and then once you see how other people are doing it you can like kind of study how that how like what levels they have to reach in order to like get certain things and sort of and you just like in your mind you think okay once i get here i'll be able to do this and then you just do it and then you keep trying and you keep trying it's just it's just a process you keep trying i think that a lot of people um or forget that it's just, if you keep trying, it'll work. Mm -hmm. And TikTok was a huge platform. It is a huge platform for a lot of upcoming singers and bands. So, uh, and I remember I used TikTok a lot and I, I remember meeting uh, you and your songs there first before, and I work with music, but I, I remember listening first there like A-OK -okay and um, the, um, Stuck in the Middle. And it's such a huge platform. How did you think about putting your songs there? Um, you know, I literally just thought, why not? Because my brother had told me and because I listened to Gary Vaynerchuk, he was like, if you're a new artist, you need to be putting your songs on TikTok. And I think that's definitely still the right answer, you know? Um, I was just open to suggestion and I liked marketing and I'd seen other people market on like Vine and Snapchat and YouTube and I understand how important social media is. I don't think a lot of artists um, really understand how powerful it can be, especially TikTok right now. So once they understand, they'll probably all get on it. Like in two years, everyone will be on it. Mm -hmm. and they'll, see, they'll, see a couple, they'll see a couple more of my songs go viral and they'll be like, oh yeah, this is how you're doing. But, you know. Yeah, and is there a, a video or a duet uh, of some fan or other people that really mark you, like really stuck with you that you remember? You know what? I don't really like to, I, I don't, I like to <laughs> run into it. Um, oh, shoot. I like to run into the uh, times that people use my sound on accident. I don't like to look them out, look for them. So I'm not like like scrolling through the the people the youth is. I just like go through my TikTok. If if one of my songs come on, I'm like, okay, cool, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you also released an album this year. Congratulations! It's a great album. Thank you so and much. And how was the creative process of this record? 
Uh, the creative process was just figuring out that I needed to, you know, just be vulnerable, be vulnerable, vulnerable, vulnerable with where I, what I was at life at the time and just tell people my story and my perspective. And I think that um, my favorite part was just making the music. The process of making music is my favorite part. Mm -hmm. And is there any artist or band that you would like to collaborate with in the future? Uh, I'd rather be friends with people first, to be honest, because that's how you make better music. So if I can be friends with people, that'd be awesome. Hopefully I can be friends with Billie Eilish and Tyler, the creator. <laughs> Have you ever met her? Did you ever get the chance to meet her? Not yet, but we'll be in the room soon. Yeah, I I'm sure. I'm sure. And have you ever been to Brazil? Can the fans expect shows here when it's safe? Um, I haven't been to Brazil yet. My brother has, and he told me it was awesome. So I got to come down. <laughs> I'm sure you like it. I, I think your vibe matches our vibe. So I, <laughs> I think you like it. Yeah. Love that. <laughs> Last but not least, would you like to send a message to your Brazilian fans? All right. Everyone in Brazil, you guys are amazing. Everyone that's watching this interview, you guys are even more amazing. I think that you could be doing anything else in the world right now on the internet, but you're here right now and that's special. I appreciate you. <laughs> Thanks so much, Ty. Have a great day of interviews and thank you for your time. Thank you so much. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>